We're pleased to see that the Dow Jones Industrial Average broke through 25,000 for the first time ever today. The President's economic agenda of lower taxes, less regulation, and more opportunity for all is already paying off, and American families and workers are the big winners. With that in mind, we have a message from a special guest that I'd like to share with you. With that, I'll uh, ask you to tune into the screens, and then I'll continue from there. Thank you for being with us today. The historic tax cut I signed into law just two weeks ago before Christmas is already delivering major economic gains. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are seeing larger paychecks, bigger bonuses, and higher pension contribution. And it's all because of the tax cuts and the tax reform. And I want to thank all of the companies that work so hard to do it. Workers at AT&T, Bank of America, Comcast, Southwest Airlines, American Airlines, and many other companies are receiving bonuses of $1,000 or more. Aflac and others are investing more in employees' 401ks. CVS announced it will hire 3,000 new workers. Boeing, another great company, is investing hundreds of millions of dollars in employee training and infrastructure. More than 60 companies have announced they are raising wages, including many that have voluntarily raised their minimum wage to $15 per hour. And I mean, they did that voluntarily, which many politicians said could only be achieved by government mandate. Investing in the American worker is the most important investment a business will ever make. I want to thank all of these companies for putting their tax savings to the best possible use by creating more jobs and higher wages for the American family. These great results are just the beginning. When the dreams of the American people are unleashed, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, we can't achieve. We are going to make America great again, and it's happening a lot faster than anyone thought possible. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. As he said, this is only the beginning, and we are excited to see the economic growth and optimism continue to soar in 2018. Earlier today, the President hosted Republican senators to talk about responsible immigration reform. He reiterated our view that any action on DACA must come with action on the President's immigration reform principles, which were released last year. These include a physical border wall on the southern border, interior enforcement, which includes more ICE and Border Patrol agents, as well as a crackdown on sanctuary cities, and reforms to our legal immigration system, like ending chain migration and the visa lottery program in favor of a merit-based immigration system. Next week, the President is inviting a bipartisan group of senators to the White House to discuss the next steps on responsible immigration reform and to continue that discussion.